when the Bengals went to the Super Bowl, Troy Borgman from Fogarty's Tavern in Cheviot suggested that we change all our street names in our business district to Bengals names to honor the occasion. The beauty of being in a city the size of Cheviot is we called the mayor and within 48 hours, all the signs were up. I'm Ray Croner, I own Croner Dry Cleaners. I'm also the president of the Cheviot Business Alliance. signs were up for a month. We got a lot of attention, even the NFL picked up on it, and a lot of positive exposure for the area. So now the season's over, and we decided it would be kind of fun to carry on a little bit more of the celebration. So we thought we would raffle off the street signs. This is the sign that's being raffled. Um, there are a variety of Bengals players' names that are going into the raffle. The raffle will be held on April 23rd at the Public House, and at the same time we will be doing a silent auction for the larger signs. The, the reason we went to a raffle is because a lot of people said let's auction each one off, and we thought that's not very, it, it goes to the deepest pocket. We wanted to engage the community a little bit more, and so we decided a raffle made the most amount of sense. It's a level playing field. There are way more Joe Burrow signs because he covered every intersection on Harrison Avenue. There are fewer P. Ryan signs or McPherson signs because they were individual street. So if you put your hot name in the hopper for Joe Burrow, you have more chances to win, but most likely there'll be more people signing up for that particular name.